B96, today is the day CD is out in stores on the Comcast couch. We got him, Shy Town's very own Twister. Yeah. Yeah. What's happening? What's happening, fellas? What's up? Dude, <laughs> Twister, you're a veteran in this game. How many CDs is this? This is a uh, sixth solo, but, you know, I got CDs all right. over the place. And mixtapes everywhere, solo. you know. Yes, yes. Cool. So we had to ask you real quick, can you name every song on all those CDs? <laughs> yeah. Can you do it? Go. I don't know. <laughs> I would mess up very, very early. I got some <laughs> verses that I can't even go all the way through. So really? here's, a, here's a better question. Yeah. How many remixes have you done in your life? I mean, you've been on every Hot Songs remix since I can remember. It's crazy. I know it, it, it's definitely past the 100 mark for sure. So Is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is there one that sticks out? I mean, like, I think for me, your verse on uh, the Jay-Z, Missy, Is That Your Chick song was just crazy. Like that's, that was. That's the one that sticks out. First. That's the one for you? Especially because I toured all over the country with Jay yeah. and got an you know, opportunity to do the song. So, yeah. like, definitely that one. Is This the End with P. Diddy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. That, wasn't that genuine was, that on that one, too, I think? Yeah. Yeah, that was hot, yeah. dude. Yeah, yeah for that sure. That was a record. Now, you were on the Jay-Z I'm, I don't know what the tour was called, or the, the one show in Madison Square where Jay-Z was like, I'm leaving the game, yeah, like whatever. the final tour, the when, final show. Yeah, when you were in the garden doing that up on stage, how, how did, what was going through your mind when you were doing that? Was it just bananas being up there or what? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I felt crazy just being a part of it. I mean, every, there was everybody in the game at that time was there that night. Yeah, that was, that was the night I got the chance to see Slick Rick and Ghostface Killer kicking it together, doing nice. the thing, talking about each other's jewelry and stuff like that. So that was a big night for me. I got a chance to meet Beyonce that night. She was with Jay, uh -huh. you know, so it was really, really popping that night. There's a lot of legends that have actually, like, embraced you heavily. Jay-Z's one of them. I mean, you, you, you mentioned Diddy earlier. He, uh, he, was, he was down with you early as well. Um, is there somebody you looked up to growing up that you were like, you know, who was your idol growing up, I guess you could say? Rakim. Rakim. Yes. Have you met him before? Yes. You did. How was that I for you? I got the opportunity to meet him. And for him to tell me he knew who I was and that he respect my lyrics, nice. it was over. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't need nothing else. No awards, no nothing could equal up to that for me. So it was over once that happened. Let's let's break down your entire style because, I mean, you're, you're so fast. And then a lot of times your beats are slow, so you double time over these beats. <laughs> How did you come up with this whole style? Or was it someone you looked up to that, that was kind of doing it and you took it to a different level? How did you come up with Twister Style? Um, Really just... Going after something else besides the metaphors. I felt like I had mastered the metaphor thing mm -hmm. and being able to battle, but I knew I was always real good with, like, uh, rhythms and uh, the cadence of things, and I was like, man, I want to come with some styles. Right. You know, I'm like, let's do styles. And one day I was like, uh, why don't triple in over the word? Dun, 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 dun. You know what I'm saying? Right. So uh -huh. I just would go more and more crazy with it. Then I looked up one day and started hearing people like, uh, one of the first records I heard was, jay-z and jazz with the originators okay right right yeah yeah and if you're a true hip-hop fan you will know what the originators is and records like that poor righteous teachers mm -hmm. these artists started to come out flipping uh -huh. the style a little bit but by that time i was already into it but it definitely made me want to just take it to a, a whole nother right level. and so, you have <laughs> yeah, you definitely, definitely have, have man <laughs> the, the guinness book of world records are you mm -hmm. still the record holder no, unfortunately, no, man. But can, can you go and like say, Yo, I want, I want, I want to do it again. I want to be on top. Or... <laughs> I could, I could, but fortunately, I, what I hear is that the rapper that holds the title is from Chicago. Oh, cool. Okay, so, cool. So that's definitely that's definitely a plus because I know that that person looks up to me exactly, you know, and that's dope. And uh, secondly, man, it was after like ten years. That was yeah. a, that was my bait verse. Uh -huh. So I thought somebody <laughs> would like come right back and try to break the title uh -huh. right back, but it took like a bunch of years. So by then, I had did what I did and you know, solidify myself in that. So I just want Chi Town to stand up in that and uh one day maybe I'll come here. Yeah. On you guys show and break the record. Yeah, well you let's know what? You already broke the styles and Roman record. You're the fastest guy we ever had. So let's yeah. put, um <laughs> one more question for you. Uh well actually what I want to say is that I mean also we we associate you with the Guinness Book of World Records anyways, no matter who has it. We can't even name the guy who has it right now. So ultimately yeah. in people's minds you you have that title even, you know, if you don't legitimately have it anymore, but you had it for ten years. Um for sure. let's talk Thank about the new you. album now. The new album. Yes. Category F five. Category F five. The vicious the vicious tornado or twister ripping through your town, throwing the cars through the air like bullets. Ugh, it's going down. <laughs> now, now, did someone tell you, like, how, how did you come, like, when we saw, I was like, Category F5, I'm like, you kind of, like, now when you think about it after you said it, I'm like, oh, Category F5, you see it a lot, like, in the Weather Channel or something like that. How did you come up with the name of the, uh, the CD? Man, sitting around, man, trying to come up with that title, man, chilling, and a special person in my life looked up and said, Category F5, and I said, oh, thank uh -huh. you. 
Uh, there you go. You know, so that's the way I came up with it. And I got to say shout outs to the special person in my life for doing that. And we're you not do. saying names, you know. <laughs> you're pulling the Drake route. You're like, going out to somebody special. We're not going to say who it is, though. You dig. It's going down. <laughs> Category F5. So cool. the CD is out in stores today. iTunes, download it. Shy Town, be supportive of a Twista. Like last night before you went to bed, were you able to sleep? Were you out hustling, doing your thing, recalling everybody, telling them to go out and get it? Or what did Twista do last night before he went to bed? Ooh. We were running around like crazy. We went to we went to a benefit. Uh, one of the players from the New York Giants threw a benefit in New York, and we were downtown in Manhattan representing that whole thing. Then we left there and went to another party that was like a listening party for me downtown Manhattan. Um, my boy Red Cafe came through there and kicked it with me for nice. a while. You know, a few people showed some love, mm-hmm. and we were we were there like three four in the morning. Then we jumped up and started doing some more stuff around like 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning. So have you slept yet? <laughs> Man, uh, I slept, <laughs> I slept for about 45 minutes to an hour on the plane on the way home. And then, bam, right back into it. You know, I got a chance to change, you know, shower up a little bit and jump right back into it. Because it's work day, baby. It is work day. is out. And let's, let's not get it twisted. You actually still live in Chicago. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. I mean, what's your second favorite city besides Chicago? I mean, obviously, Chicago is your favorite Traveling everywhere, what's your like second favorite place? Hmm, I'm gonna have to say, L.A. L.A. Right, yeah. right. Any certain reason? It's because weather. The girls. Howdy's special Do people. You really want to know? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, well, her, her L- name. L.A. L.A. makes me feel very, very good. Oh, okay. He's going that angle. <laughs> I get right. to go. I get to go feel good every time I go to L.A. Nice. Always good, feel good. Now the new thing everybody's doing nowadays is Twitter. Oh, yeah. I was on your Twitter page earlier catching up on what you were doing all day today, and you gave a shout out to Mr. President Obama, <laughs> who's from Illinois. For and you, copping and, two copies. Yeah. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, how cool? Did it really happen, or was that just was that just like a joke you were doing, you know? No, nah, it's just a joke, man. You know, I wish. I believe you. Know, you. I believe you. Yeah, I, I'm glad I had one person that believed, you know, <laughs> stirred up some type of controversy. Exactly. You know? But it's cool. But I mean, it's cool though. That, he, that's you know something that we do. You know sometimes just to have fun. Yeah. You know just joking around a little bit. But he is definitely a cool brother though. Absolutely. What if you meet him one day and he's like, "No, I really did buy two copies." It'll kill me. <laughs> but you know, I know he wouldn't say it because you know he's going to have it in his pocket today when he's going out to throw the first pitch at the All Star game later on tonight. That'll be dope, right? If he throw the first pitch, then he pull out the category F five CD and hold it up like. <laughs> Chateau. Chateau. Well, think about where, where Chicago's come from. Because when you first started, man, Chicago was kind of non existent in the music scene. And now you look at, you know, obviously you, Kanye, R. Kelly, even our president from Chicago. I mean, Chicago's come a long way when it comes to this industry, hasn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, real. It, it's a big thing for me, man, to look up. And like when I first came out, a, a, a lot of things was a. Uh, oh. Normally, people's like phones go off. Twist's watch goes yeah. off. Yeah, this is the phone. Oh, it's a phone, really? It's, yeah, it's Obama. Are you you know, I got the Bluetooth. Right That's here, a f- but, your but watch is the phone. If the Bluetooth doesn't work, then I just take it off and I'll talk. That is like the this. dopest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen that. That's all. I have a uh, I have a BlackBerry. Yeah, we, we it's really have, cool. We have cheap phones. You- <laughs> See, he got Close the camera. On that. He's got the camera on me, so now I got the camera on him. And he's got a camera too. Yeah, I'm taping him now. That is sick. What the hell is going on? I've never seen it. What's it called? I don't know. Okay, I'm going. I like <laughs> He's it. Like it's called badass. <laughs> it's know, a transformer. I, I got it off. Uh, I got it off of somebody in um in Atlanta. You stole it? You like know, what? You brother, beat him up? Or? A brother, no, a brother oh. was walking around in Atlanta and he said, "I got something for you, Twister." And he started showing me these watches. And he was like, "Man, it's a phone. It's a phone." I was like, "What?" That's, that's, that's real dope. Can we put you on the spot right now? Can you articulate for us? Can you can you do a little something for us? Can you spin From a little album something? or something? A remix you like? Anything? Um, you can curse. We can beep it out. A bar I like to spit. I, I like to say uh. Nobody messing with twists. I be having a feeling the relevant, and then I be killing them off with my elegance. I am a scorpion, I am an elephant, F- filling with venom, and then I'm a stomp on my pencil with oblivion. I am a million, I am a billion, I am a trillion, I'm a gazillion. Hey, hit him in the body with a millimeter because I gotta put him in the dirt. Put him in the middle with the money because I know I gotta get it because I know I gotta work. Relevant since '91 when it come to longevity, I am the first. When it be coming to traveling with the dead bodies of rappers, now I am the hearse. That was the Damn. dopest thing I've ever seen in my twist up.